Well, another instance of clearing my throat and thinking I hit unpause and I don't. So reset that timer. Anyway, it's Wednesday. Housekeeping. The cooking video for this week, all the footage got lost. I don't ex exactly know what happened with it, but maybe I'll come back to it later. I mean, short answer was it, 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 it was not that good of a recipe for this week. But <clears throat> I'll do it some other time, I guess. But anyway, GeoGuessr this week will just be a backdrop for one of the questions asked about the uh, insurrection. I don't know exactly the word to use for it. The attack last week, but it's the U.S. We'll be showing the U.S. while I talk in the background about buttermilk crispy chicken biscuit, which sounds pretty tasty. I gotta say, you know, regardless of it being from McDonald's or not, Cookville and Birdstown. Anyway, someone asked if there's any more. I gotta clear my throat. I'm gonna make sure I unpause. Oh, God, that's annoying. Cookville and Birdstown. Anyway, um,. If there was any, like, update to whatever's happened, you know, there's some news that's come from it. Mainly, we're at the point now of just all the people who are visibly um, recording themselves taking selfies or being part of the whole incident themselves are all being arrested via facial, facial recognition or otherwise. I mean, these... One of the things people don't really seem to remember about posting things to public websites is you you're you're kind of damning yourself which a lot of people are doing right now uh granted a lot of people especially the one person saying that hey i was just because i was walking around with the plastic zip tie handcuffs i wasn't actually uh doing anything i was just looking for a police officer to give them to um the guy walking with the pedestal the guy putting his feet up on nancy pelosi's desks you know, you're you're all pretty much just incriminating yourself pretty easily. Uh, there's been, uh, I think the FBI has put out, hey, here's rewards for identifying these people. Granted, uh, a lot of phones now have geolocating tag. You know, you can be tagged pretty easily wherever your phone is. And you can say otherwise, but hey, so say, hey, your phone was here. We can probably go through the footage of thousands of people and news places that were all videotaping the whole thing, proving you were there. You know, a lot of people were just, I got caught up in it, I didn't want to be there, you know, whatever you want to call it. People are just getting caught now, and they got to figure out how to live with the people on no-fly lists now, because airplane companies are kind of treating it as a terrorist act, and yeah, it kind of was. Um. But as far as updates now, um, the inauguration, when the public actual swearing, swearing in of a president happens on January 20th, um, there's plans for protests or demonstrations, you should say. At least they're thinking all the capitals, or they're going to try at least. There's uh, maybe something on the 17th, too, because I guess that has something to do with that QAnon thing. Granted, I don't really follow or care about, you know, whatever that conspiracy theory thing is but it's a bit frustrating I, I i talked a little bit about it and stammered through it honestly i think last wednesday's video where uh the whole mentality of conspiracy theories are really hard to like get through to people with when they're very much into it because you can show all the evidence they want but it it's like no i don't they're they'll they'll, they'll attack the evidence to give you is like, oh, that's just bias. Where did you get that from? Oh, that site that gives it there. Oh, that person. It's like, oh, no, I don't believe them. It, it, it basically boils down to like a faith. Like, I believe personally, faith and emotion in whatever they think is happening is actually true. And it's hard to, at all, to get through to these people to be like, hey, you know, you, you seem pretty diehard about this, but honestly, Let's see here, and oh, the McDonald's is right there, so maybe we're like right here. I think that's 5,000 points right there. I think I nailed it. It's like, hey, let's, let's talk about this. Um, <clears throat> for example, there's a, 
guy I know who's, I don't know what, as far as what they believe in it, but it, it's more like, hey, these people on this demonstration, they were peaceful, it wasn't them, it's, it's Antifa that was there who actually caused all these things to happen. It's a level of denial. Like if you watch videos about people flipping out at airports because they weren't allowed to be on planes because of the no whole no fly list thing, like look what they're doing to us. It's it's they they very much feel that they're being attacked. All these attacks on them just proves to them that whatever they're doing is right, and they have to keep up the good fight. In air quotes. It, it's it's a very hard thing to root out. I guess I mean root out might be the wrong word, but to actually talk to these people because as soon as you sit there and try to have a discussion with them, either one of two things are going to happen. I think this is Utah. This looks very familiar. Like I've had this one before. Um, <clears throat> sorry. I'm, I should remember to mute when I clear my throat here, but um, you can say here and have discussions with people, but they'll say something what you may perceive as crazy, and you're going to either respond like, that's nuts, what the fuck are you talking about? Or you'd be like, oh, interesting, you know. And a lot of suggestions people have, like when you're interacting with these people who have these theories, they, they usually say, hey, if you work with somebody or have an interaction with somebody who holds these thoughts, just don't engage with them they say, because I guess for the betterment of your men mental health, and maybe theirs too, just let them rant. I mean, that's probably not the right way of going about it, but it's, I think that's Wyoming. Yeah, it's Wyoming. It's better just to let them, let sleeping dogs lie, I guess, is, it, is an adage you could say for that. Um. Because more, it, it's pretty clear that probably whatever you're going to say, you're not going to be the one that's going to convert, in air quotes, or get through to these people to be like, hey, you know, you're not going to have some great soapbox moment with this person, and you're not actually going to get through to them to be like, oh yeah, what you say makes sense. My entire belief structure and thoughts I've had in the past couple of years have been absolutely crazy. I'm an idiot and you're right. That never happens. You know, you're not going to be the one who's going to get through these people. All you're going to do is just further galvanize whatever their beliefs are. And you're just like, look at this asshole. Of course, it's another one who doesn't get it. I understand. It's me. You were in the town of Mills. Will I find a Mills? I don't know. But it's frustrating. To me it is, at least, on, on, on how to actually uh, navigate these times, I guess you could say. This would be interesting to read about in history books, well, if I'm alive in 30 years. Interesting times indeed. Mills. But that's where we are right now, at least in the U.S. A lot of unease. Um, a lot of sit and waiting. I mean, there's, there's pushes, I believe, for the 25th Amendment for another round of impeachment. And if you're unaware, the 25th Amendment is when the president is deemed unable or maybe infirm like unable to actually uh, carry out the duties as president, then the vice president ends up becoming the president, which would technically make Mike Pence a president for maybe like, well, what is it? What's, what's today? The 12th? For eight days, he would be president. I'm not seeing Mills anywhere here. Maybe it's like a super small town, and it's maybe right next to McNutt. <laughs> But whether or not that actually is going to happen, I think it's just more of like another thing to say, hey, we, we, we at least as the Democratic Party, we're like, hey, we're, we're pushing this through. 
because I think right now they, they have the majority in the House of Representatives and the Senate. But there's a certain two-thirds majority, I forget what it is, to, at least with the 25th, I believe you need a certain amount of the House, the, the, the cabinet members to sign off on a letter saying, hey, we agree that the president is no longer mentally capable of being president. We approve of this transfer of power to the vice president. Like, there's a lot of steps involved, and I believe CPG Gray might have actually made a video about this maybe a year or two ago, talking about how the ambiguity with the 25th Amendment. But I digress. I'm going to hit guess and see. Oh, we were near Casper. It's cool. <clears throat> how close? Oh, Mills is right there. This didn't look like we were that close to Casper, but I guess Wyoming is that desolate of a state. That I guess it makes sense. We're near a beach. I think this might be either Hawaii or Floridora. <sighs> a little bit of coffee. That's where it is. That's where we stand. We'll see how the next eight days go. Um, so, let's see. Pinellas Glass. I don't know the name of that place. Uh, as far as the rest of the weeks have been going, uh, 813 feels like Florida, maybe? Dream Coast. It's, it's not helpful. Um... I've started playing. I mean, I, I beat, what was it? What's the name of that? Uh, the Cyberpunk a couple of weeks ago at this point. I've moved on to a game called Escape from Tarkov because it, 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 it's kind of like, um, at least the mentality of playing a game like Dota because it is a bit unhandholdy. It's a bit punishing. Um, come on, tell me where we are. This isn't helpful. Where's your like town name saying where you're from? Uh, 727. That's that's a different area code. Um, but yeah, if you're unaware of what Escape from Tarkov is, it's a basically like a first-person shooter with um, going around a map, looting stuff. It's, uh, I guess, bullet physics. It's It's very realistic, I believe. They actually get gun companies to... Give them pro like uh there was some podcast I was or there was some interview with the guy who created it. I forget what his name is. Nikita or something. He's Russian. It is a Eastern European game, and a lot of Eastern European games um include like harshness or punishment as a game mechanic. Where the hell is this? Florida regulation. Well, I think that's F L A R E G. Reclaimed water in use. That that doesn't help me. We're on a coast, but uh, this is quite the gated... It feels like a gated community here. On a goddamn cul-de-sac. Where are we? Hippo. Where are we? You don't tell me where we are. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and say we're... Like maybe down here near Boyden Beach. I'm just I'm just clicking things. Unless this Tricare near Jesus Plumbing and Heating. That's the Celtic Cross. That's very interesting. I believe that's the uh, a Celtic Cross. At least it looks like it. Um, but I really haven't played any first-person shooters in well since like Rainbow Six and. There was that short time when I tried to get back into it, and I had not played it so long that I was incredibly rusty, and I died super quick. And I stopped playing because I was like, I'm old, I, I, I can't play this game anymore. And I completely forgot about that when I decided to do and give Tarkov a try. And it is very much evident that I'm still just as bad. I don't think I've... I have not killed a... Well, I should explain a little further. So you're on a map... You're, you're walking around looting stuff. It can be like 8 to 13 other players on the map. And there's also 
AI on the map that spawn. And you have no idea where anybody else is. It's all about, like, sound. There's no, like, reticle. It's very minimalistic as far as, like, you don't technically know how many rounds you have unless, like, you take your magazine out, you unload every bullet out of the magazine, and you're like, okay, I have this many. You can press a little button, and it'll give you an estimation, depending on your, I guess, skill. Um, you walk around with a gun, you shoot at other people, you can take their loot, and you try to leave. Like, you, 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 you spawn in some random point in the map. You have, like, okay, here's where you're supposed to, like, exfil, they call it, exfiltrate out of the map. Here's these locations. There's no map in-game. Um, you're just there. you got to learn by playing. Or if you have on a second monitor, a little sc uh, the map of the zone. And like, oh, you spawned here? Here's where to go. See, it was one or the other coast. I had no idea. It was just a guess. But you spawn on the map, you have a map on a second screen, it tells you where to go, you kind of follow that, and hopefully you don't get shot or killed on the way. Bit rough. But for some reason I've decided to play the game. Going into it without having very much experience in first-person shooters. I mean, there is a little bit in Cyberpunk, but honestly I had plenty of time to, like, crouch, line up a headshot and get it. This one is a bit harder. And if you do die, uh, the person can come over and loot all your stuff off your body, except for a tiny little, like, cash, I think they call it, a case <clears throat> that you can keep on your body that you can put, like, depending on Palo Alto or Mountain View. Is this California? Uh, Silicon Valley, yeah. Palo Alto, where... Isn't that right outside San Francisco? There's Palo Alto. So we'll click like right there and see if I can't. What that? that said Palo Alto something, right? Mountain View. It's a bike path. Where is Mountain View? There's Mountain View. So we're like maybe on Alma Street. Let's get to this intersection and we can find out. East Charlton and San Antonio. Let's look for, there's East Charlton. San Antone. Come on, where are you? We're looking for it. We're going to find it. East Charlton, San Antonio Road. So here is the intersection. Let's head home. Uh, there's an Enterprise Rent-A-Car. Enterprise Rent-A-Car. So we're like right there. Nailed it. Uh, a bit of a headache. But it's a rough game. I don't know why I'm forcing myself to play it. But I want to learn at it and get better. But it's a bit rough because you lose any gunfight you're in. You have the chance to ensure, but that only works if someone doesn't take it off your body when you leave or when you die. So unless they don't bother to take your gun or any of the gear you came into the raid with, uh, you'll get it back. But if they take it, you're shit out of luck. So it's kind of hard to learn how to use a gun in that game. It would be helpful if there was like a, hey, go here and practice with a gun for a while. You can technically go into offline raids, but none of that loot counts. But, you know, it's a rough game. It's an open beta. It has been for years now, I think, at this point. Really ambitious what they're talking about doing with this game because I thought, I think I heard that they made this game it's kind of like a something to do until they do the big game they want to because I guess the, the company itself wanted to make a successor to uh, Stalker, which was a interesting first-person shooter game that took place in Pripyat uh, around Chernobyl, which 
you can mod the mod that game super hard and there's some really good mods for that game. I just can't play that game. I'm bad. And it's also creepy as fuck. Um this game, the the Escape from Tarkov has its own jump scares where um I got scared so bad because the guy started shooting at me from somewhere I wasn't expecting that I literally jumped out of my chair and threw my mouse. <laughs> and by the time I got control of the mouse, put it back on my table, and there I was facing in a random direction and I was dead before I could turn around and, and shoot the guy. Fucking scared me hard. And I was like, God damn it, there goes all that stuff I came into the game with. So it's it's a weird punishing thing. I don't know why I keep doing it, but I do. <laughs> I'm done with the gets here. You got the 5,000. Nice. But I came to that point last night where I lost so many times in a row. I was just like, ah, God damn it. Why do I keep playing this game? It's hard. I'm bad. I need to figure out how to learn how to start shooting again, at least in the game, because, you know, I got the jump on. Two people last night, and I still lost the gunfights. <laughs> no, it just comes with practice. I mean, it's an open beta now. None of this stuff. They do periodically wipe all progress in the game when they come out with big updates for the game. And that, that's arguably probably the best time to get into the game itself, but who knows. Um, but I also don't feel too bad because I'm like, hey, all this technically doesn't really matter because it's all going to get wiped at some point in the near future. So, you know, take this time to learn. Where are we? Mickey Griffin. HDB. That does, that does not help me. That doesn't help me either. Come on. Show us where we are. Halcyon Summit. What a nothing name <clears throat> at least it's a big enough road here that this may actually help me come inside open student checking account i technically still have a student checking account a jack in the box food and fun what kind wind creek montgomery is this alabama Montgomery, Alabama. Maybe? I'll just click a thing. Ah, oh, that coffee got warm. I, I guess... I don't think that's a water tower. I don't know what the fuck that thing is. It's weird. Whatever it is. Is that a... road sign that I should look at? <clears throat> no. It was nothing. Taylor doesn't help me. Maybe looking at this stuff might. Jackson Hospital. How close is Jackson to Montgomery? Well, Jackson, Mississippi, that's a completely different state. So... Not helpful at all. Hmm. Let's just keep going on this road till I see a street sign. Maybe this truck will help me. Montgomery, Alabama. So we're we're down here. Will I find a road sign on a train in a Publix in Dark Barry, Spider Man? I don't know. I don't want to be here. I want to be on this road. It's an air show. Wow, there's nothing as far as like road signs. No, we're outside, whatever this is. Um, that's just a empty building or. Nothing that exists just yet. Come on, give me a road sign. Like this. That is... Do they teach you how to play purple... purple ugh, do they teach you how to play 
Purple Rain at the Prince Institute. All that effort for a not a very good joke. I don't even know if it was a joke. More of a quip. Okay. Come on. Show me a road sign or something. This is a whole lot of nothing. Continues to be nothing. I'm not seeing any road signs. It's just one long road. You know, we're on Atlanta Highway. So maybe this, maybe there. Maybe we're out here. Like, I, I, I have no idea. I'll click, like, right there. See how close I was. Kinda. I'll take it. Whew. Anyway, that's gonna do it for Wednesday's video. I'd like to thank you all for watching. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, complaints, tips, hints, suggestions, anything of the like, go ahead and uh, put them down below. I'll read, read, I will read them and get back to you. Go check out the video if you have not yet that I put up on Monday about the poor painting. Uh, maybe I'll do a few more of those. I don't know yet. Anyway, come back on Friday. We got some more of this geoguessing to do. Until then, have a good one. I'll see you soon.